Hey, what's up, gamers? Today we're talking about Twitch and the recent controversy surrounding Luzafruit's emote ban. In case you're not familiar, Luzafruit is a popular Australian Twitch streamer known for her entertaining content and emotes. Recently, Twitch banned one of her emotes, and this decision has sparked criticism from her fans. Background, Luzafruit took to Twitter to express her concerns about the situation, explaining why her emote had been taken down. Twitch cited potential abuse and harassment as reasons for the ban, claiming that the fruit loser emote of holding the L sign might lead to targeted insults, bullying, and threatening or inciting abuse. Luzafruit's concern is that Twitch's policies are too strict and that they might come after her username next. Twitch's emote policy. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Twitch emotes are similar to emojis, and only Twitch partners and affiliates can offer them. Emotes are generated by streamers and made available to viewers to use in chat while watching a stream. Twitch evaluates emotes in light of potential abuse by viewers, and they have a history of banning emotes that they deem problematic. Controversy. The recent ban of Luzerfruit's emote has raised questions about the extent of Twitch's regulation policies. Fans have pointed out that anyone who wants to bully can just put an L instead of the emote in chat. Some Twitch users have argued that the platform's policy updates are too strict, and the platform should allow streamers to post whatever they want. As Twitch cracks down on several streamers found violating policies, including gambling, it's clear that the platform will need to solve these problems if it wants to compete with its emerging rivals. Many fans are waiting to see how Twitch will find the balance between regulating harmful content and allowing streamers to express themselves freely. We'll have to wait and see how this situation develops, but one thing's for sure, the world of Twitch is always changing.